Hello, in this video, I want to go over how to create bar charts and pie charts in Google Sheets. So I'm on our course Moodle page, and uh, I'm going to open up the Lab 1 data, so the Chapter 2 Lab data. I'm going to click on that, I'll ask to open. And we have the file, make sure to enable editing. If you don't have Excel, another software program or a spreadsheet program will open up this document. So what I want to do is change this, excuse me, at the very bottom. Make sure that clicks on education because that's the first problem we're going to look at. And if you click on the lab, chapter two lab, display it right here. We're looking at the education tab worksheet in the Excel workbook. And I want to create a by bar and a pie chart. I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet, and if you don't have Excel, it might look a little different. But highlight this, copy, and if you open up uh, Google Sheets, it should look something like this. Which of course, you can title it and whatnot. And you're going to need to either uh, use a keyboard shortcut to paste. Control V works on PCs, and Command V works on a Mac. Double click to widen these out. So now I want to make a bar chart on here. I'm going to make a bar chart. I'm going to highlight all this data. Click on the insert up here. Chart. And some recommendations come up. I suggest you click on the chart types. Line, line chart area. And I want either column or bar chart. And bar charts can be horizontal, column chart will be vertical. Both of these are bar charts. So I'm going to leave this as is. Click on the customization. And if you want to change the title to education levels of 65 people and up or something like that. And I don't think we need to change much about the axes titles. You can just see all the um, categories and the counts in thousands. And on the right over here, that's the legend. Since we have all the information in the chart, don't really need the legend in this case. So I'm going to click on here and none. And if you scroll down, there's other options you could go through. I suggest throughout the lab you take a look and see what happens as you change these. I'm going to click on insert. And there we have a bar, uh, a bar chart for our data. All right, so I'm going to go back to our data and do the same information, but make a pie chart. So I'll highlight the data again. Insert chart. There's a pie chart right here, but there's different types. So I'm going to scroll down. There's a full pie chart donut chart and the 3D pie chart. You can use either one of these. I'm going to use just the standard pie chart. I'm going to click on the customization tab. So education level for over 65 years old. Right, in this case the legends on the right. I think it's a good idea to keep the categories on. I'm going to scroll down. The slice can go by percentage, or I can change that to value. I'm going to give it the value. I'll keep on the value for right now. Notice, though, some of the pie uh, do not have the value because they're too big to fit in. In Excel and other software, you could add labels on the outside of the pie chart. A kind of quick fix if you really want labels right there is to decrease your font size. Let's do seven. label like this one and have to go smaller so then you're sacrificing the uh, visibility to get the labels out of here. I would be okay with just leaving it as 12. You know that people get to kind of take a reference. And I'm going to click insert and we have our pie chart and the bar chart. 